Okay, in this problem we're giving two different functions and we want to find the area of the, of the section that's bounded by these two functions. So one function is x plus y squared equals 12, so it's this like sideways parabola, and the other function is this line, x plus y equals 0. So what are the two, what is the area that's encapsulated and bounded by the two? That blue shaded area is right there. Right, so I'm going to approach this one a little differently. Before we did problems where to find the area, we did top function minus bottom function. This time I'm going to do right function minus left function. So if you find the area to the left of that parabola minus the area to the left of that line for, for some particular y's, right, you're going to find the blue area. Okay, so I'm going to try it that way. So I'm going to do left to right. So when you do left, right, you integrate with respect to y because if you think about it, we have a bunch of little rectangles that make up this area and they all have a width of delta y and they have a certain height here that we're going to get in terms of y. That's what we're going to figure out what to integrate. Okay, so we're going to do left, right. We're going to integrate with respect to y. So the first thing I want to do is to get my two equations in terms of that, like get an x equals. So first one, x equals 12 minus y squared, right? So I subtract the y squared from both sides. And here, x equals negative y. So if we want to find the y values where these two things intersect, we set the two x's equal to each other, right? So I just set those two equal to each other. So now I'm going to move everything over to one side. I'm going to add y squared to both sides. And I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides, and I get 0. So it's starting to look a little familiar. To find what y can be here, basically you have to defoil. So you want to find factors of negative 12 that add up to negative 1, right? So I think that's going to be negative 4 plus 3, right? y squared plus 3y minus 4y gives us the minus y minus 12. Bingo, we got it. Then use the zero product rule, set each factor equal to zero, and solve for y. So guess what, you guys? We just found the y values, like right here, y equals negative 3. Right here, y equals 4. We just figured that out, okay, where the two intersect. All right? So, so now what do we have to do? So now we have our our limits of integration, but now we got to figure out what we want to integrate. And we know that we're going to use dy. We're going to integrate with respect to y. So what do we got to do? We got to do, remember I said we had to do the right minus the left, the right function minus the left function to get that area. Um, so what is the right function? The right function is 12 minus y squared minus what is the left function? The left function is minus y, Okay, right? So I think that's going to be 12 minus y squared plus y. Okay, right? I'm going to rewrite it. I'm just going to rewrite it. Put the minus y squared first plus y next plus 12 next dy. So that's what you got to do. You got to integrate that. So this isn't too bad. So let's see. Minus one third, take the antiderivative of everything, right? Plus what's the antiderivative of y? It's just one half y squared. What's the antiderivative of 12? It's just 12y, right? And they all go between 4 and negative 3. Okay, so now we just got to plug in negative one third 4 cubed plus 1 half 4 squared plus 12 times 4 minus negative 1 third negative 3 cubed plus 1 half negative 3 squared uh, plus 12 times negative 3. Right? I think I did that right. So what the heck did I get? I got equals um, negative 64 over 3 plus 16 over 2 plus 48 minus 9 
plus 9 halves, watch your signs, minus 36. So when I did this all out in decimals, <laughs> I got negative 21.333 plus 8 plus 48 minus, and I think I just added those all together, I got minus 22.5. And when I did all that, I ended up getting 34.667 plus 22.5. Wow, I got 57.167. So be careful, you know, with the math, but basically that's what we did. This time we did right function minus left function, get everything in terms of y, set the x's equal to each other to find the y-intercepts. Those are the limits on your integration. Do the right function minus the left function to find out what you're going to integrate, and then do the integration. And I think it works. So hopefully, I know it's a lot of steps, but hopefully you can get through that. Good luck.